I remember, remember sophomore year, I was talking to, to uh, Jake Johnson. We were talking about, you know, the one, and how, how it was going to be when you found the one. And uh, I didn't know much about that. You know, I hadn't found the one. I didn't know if the one was out there. And um, he's just telling me how, you know, you know, things will change. You know, you'll act differently. You're going to treat this girl differently. And then I found Rebecca. And, you know, after a week or two, I go to Jake and I, I tell him, I want, I want to tell him about this new girl that I've met and uh, how special she is. But Jake already knew. He could see how I was acting and see how, how this girl was different and how I treated her differently and uh, how much she meant to me. So when a young couple such as y'all come to the altar today to profess your love to each other, you come to profess the love that God has for you and for all of us. You come to profess that faithful, permanent, life-giving love. Tom is like a son to me. We thought we lost him there for a while, and I was pretty emotional one night at my house that I thought he was going back to Georgia and we'd never see him again. And, uh, you know, we've, it's been almost seven years that he's been in our family, and uh, there isn't a there's a finer young man out there that I could have picked for our daughter. There's no doubt about that. Rebecca, I'm so happy that you're married into our family. <laughs> I am so happy. And, 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 I, and I cannot wait to introduce you as my daughter-in-law. I closed my eyes for but a moment, and suddenly a man stood where my boy used to be. You have given me so many reasons to be proud of the man you have become. But the proudest moment for me is telling others that you are my son. Can't wait for that. I mean, this is Rebecca. This is my daughter-in-law. You've been a perfect delight ever since the day I met you, and I love you to death. I guess as an older brother, um, you look back on life and, and Rebecca and I fault, as any siblings would do as you grew up, right? Um, you, you were annoying, you didn't like each other. Everything about, about, about each other growing up, you just kind of despised. But as we got older, we continued to grow closer with each other. And I couldn't be more proud of the, of the woman she's become um, and the woman that she is and the great career she had. Being the youngest of two sisters is no small feat. Our ups and downs, our raging hormones. But through it all, Thomas was always a good brother and turned out to be the incredible man that he is today and that we're so proud of. So I always jokingly said occasionally, I said if it ever got to my level, we would have an issue. You know, obviously it would go to Todd first, then Ryan. But if it got to me, then all the brothers would unite and we'd have to take action. That never happened because this guy named Thomas came into the picture and it was like, he's one of us. Told him this at our last Christmas party. He's a little bit younger than me, but there's many attributes Tom has that I aspire to be like. He's a, he's a great guy. And y'all know how tight-knit the St. Gabriel community is. They wouldn't be letting Rebecca go away with anybody, so. And amidst all the terrible decisions that we might have made growing up, the best decision Thomas has ever made was bringing his sweet Rebecca into our lives, our Reba. I love that nickname, by the way. <laughs> we can do it. You cried. I was crying in the lobby, thinking about it. <laughs> It's been seven years since Thomas came around. I can remember one of the first times he came and Rebecca said that, uh, you know, I have a, a guy I've been seeing, his name's Thomas, he's from Atlanta, I want him to introduce y'all. Thomas walks in and, and I think maybe Timber looks in jail soon. I'm like, yeah, I love this cat and what's he doing? You know, this guy. And, uh, but Thomas fit in from, from the moment he sat down. Uh, just a genuine, true, just kind part of the guy. And, could tell instantly the respect that he had for our little sister. Okay. <laughs> I've loved watching y'all's love grow over the last seven years. Reba, you are the calm, the drama-free, the loyal companion that Thomas needs. And Thomas, 
You are the goofy, the weird, the funny, the lovable companion that she needs. Y'all two know how much I love y'all. I think y'all are perfect. I think y'all are epitome of what a couple should be. Y'all laugh, y'all pick. Y'all have grown together for seven years. You've been patient with one another. You've been ready for your time and it's now, it's finally your time. So I'm so happy for y'all. I wish y'all the very best to y'all tomorrow. Love you both. And Thomas and Rebecca, in a few moments, that's what you're going to do before God and his church as well as your parents and all of us, your friends. Fidelity, permanence, and life-giving. Rebecca makes me a better person. And I know that anyone who knew me before I met Rebecca will attest to that. I am so excited to see you walk down the aisle tomorrow. I, I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And uh, tomorrow when we get married, I'll be so, so proud to be your husband. I love you so much. I Thomas, take you, Rebecca, to be my faithful wife. I, Rebecca, take you, Thomas, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. Sickness and hell. I promise to love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Kelly's vow to me was, and I'll just leave you with this and leave it to Thomas and Rebecca, was she promised to love me more today than she did yesterday. I wish you good luck and Godspeed and to a life filled with love and happiness. The best is yet to come. The boys had a lot of love to give for a very long time. And I have never seen someone happier or complete than Thomas is with Rebecca. So Thomas calls me up in college and says, you know, I've, I've met this girl. He says, her name's Miss Reba. And I was like, oh, Thomas has gone down to Louisiana and met this uh, country music singer. You know, this, this middle-aged country music singer, but, uh, no, I, I soon met Rebecca and realized how awesome she is, and she's one of my, my favorite people, and they just make each other so happy, and so it's, it's awesome to see, and it's, it's just contagious. It's hard not to have a great time around them. They're just, they're so fun. So I just wanna, you know, say cheers to the, to the perfect couple. From then on, y'all have had an unwavering relationship, and there is no doubt in my mind y'all are absolute soulmates. I know how happy Thomas makes you, and I know Thomas is just as grateful to have you in his life for many reasons. Rebecca, I adore you. You are the best friend. You're a breath of fresh air, and I just couldn't love you more. Tom, you make her so extremely happy, and I just love that.
Rebecca, I've seen firsthand how happy you are with Thomas, and I couldn't be more excited for the two of you to start your life together. Not only do they share values, not only do they share faith, not only do they share a football team, um, but they share a life where, and I'm speaking for everyone here, where I feel like the most beautiful thing is that when we see Thomas and Rebecca, he, he looks like he is himself in the fullest. I'm so incredibly happy to be here celebrating you two and how much love you have for one another. Cheers to the patents. Loving God, you bestowed a wonderful sacrament on these two beautiful people this evening. Continue to help them grow in their love for you and for one another. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Patton.